Hey everyone, Susan Leonard Kasmer here. Um, in this little short, uh, brief little film, I want to show you one of my most important and favorite techniques. Um, this is a pretty cool new release that we just had a couple months ago. And this is the way that you can attach and build and put together all of your jewelry. Um, so check it out. I love it. I think you will too. Okay, I want to show you, um, these are my, in, in one of the videos earlier, if you want to learn how to make the resin paper, uh, just go ahead and check that out. This, I'm assuming we already made resin paper. So um, this technique that specifically I want to show you is with the new jewelry wires. I love, love, love these. These are such a staple of my work, any of my work that I do. With this big piece here, this is some of my big work. And you can see I used um, the resin paper on here. I use these jewelry wires to attach to my pieces to give length. Anytime I need a wire, um, usually what I'm doing is hand hammering these wires and firing them and drawing a bead. So I love that we were able to get these wires into the line. This is, like I said, a staple in my line. Oh my gosh. So um, I want to show you a couple techniques. The way these are is they're dead soft. So I will be able to do just about anything with these, bend them any way that I'd like. This is a piece that I created because I'm loving this really kind of uh, thin cage look out here. So I put together a really kind of nice, um, this is an 18 gauge wire set around here. And in one package, this is actually just using one package. And in the package, there's three two inch, three four inch and three six inch lengths of wire. So this actually is exactly what this piece is made out of. So this is just one package. Um, this is what I'm putting together. Then I want to show some connecting with it. So I'm going to put this piece together. This uh, delicate neck neck wire will hold, um, you know, just not such a big bulky piece, but it'll give you a really nice little elegant look with this. This is a technique that I showed in another video too. So if you, if you like this one, just check that out. Okay. So to start with, I'm going to take, um, my, I'm going to actually take my first wire and this is just the same technique over and over again that you'll see. I'm just going to decide how long I want my wire to be. So my first one, I'm going to maybe have about half an inch or maybe this is a full inch and I'm really just bringing it over into a loop an L shape and then I'm just taking my end and to get rid of my end I'm wrapping it around and I love these nice nice wraps every once in a while I'll take the small ones that that I figure you know I'll just kind of take them and wrap them around my pliers and just slip it on uh, you can see on here, if I just want to give a little extra bulk or have some movement on here, I just add these in just for the fun of it. Really not in um, connecting the piece at all, but okay, so this is one large. I usually try to make my lengths different lengths too. So here's a medium. I actually have two bags in here. For some reason, I was thinking I needed two packages, but I really should have just had the one. Okay, so again, this is just the repetition of these pieces. So I'm going to go around. This is the medium size. So this one, I'm, I'm just going to use a little bit of the bulk. Sometimes I'll take the large and I'm actually going to grab, you know, bring, maybe leave almost like two inches here to come around. I really want to give myself a nice big wrap. The nice thing about these balls on the end too, the drawing a bead, is that they're not scratchy at all so you don't have to do any filing um, you know usually the end of a wire is just really hurts your skin scratches your skin so I love that we have these balls on the end it's a beautiful elegant and fun look and really is true to what my work looks like so you can see it's just again and again I'm just kind of twisting this wire around it's dead soft it's really easy to stay together I'm going to use another really long one give myself some length maybe even just leave about a half an inch oops guess what I forgot to do attach it <laughs> okay so I'm going to leave maybe a half an inch and just get in here and wrap take this end Usually if I have a big long piece like that, that's where I like to get in and use these little pieces. I use two little, little ends on here just to kind of have movement in different areas. 
Let's see, did not leave myself a space here. Oh, didn't leave myself such a nice space. So I'm going to get over, thread that on. Oh, you know, and then I also, okay, let's see how far we are. I've got a little bit more to go, another medium. Let me grab a medium, make my L shape. You could also, this is such a beautiful metal, you could hit this a little bit with sandpaper if you wanted to get it shiny. I really love this, um, the matte patina on here because for me it works with resin beautifully. I always like working with a mix of shiny and dull together. So the, uh, you'll see a lot of times my my um, work has that combination. You know, it has it's a little bit of shiny with it and it has a little bit of dull. Okay, you could make this as long as you wanted to. You could make this a super long neck form. Um, I just wanted to show you using up all of the wires in, in this kit. Okay, so once I have this done, you know, these, when I get to the edges, I can just get these rounded up a little bit. This one might even be a little bit longer than the one I have. When I get to the end, this is another package that I have. This is the um, the French hooks and the jump rings. This is in silver. I'm going to use these in gold, just keeping with the, the, the color that I have going on here. I'm going to open my jump ring. A good way to open up jump rings is with two pliers if you have them. Um, you never want to open them apart from each other. You really just want to open them side to side. So you can see the angles that I have on my pliers. Don't you love my pliers? They're definitely workable. And I'm just going to open my jump ring in this way. I'm going to grab my French hook. I'm going to thread it through the last loop on here. These loops are secure. And, and I'm just going to go ahead and sh close this. And I want to make sure I get a really nice close and this one is a nice seal. So the nice thing about um, the nice thing about flattened wire is it absolutely is an amazing attachment. Um, they're not going to come apart. And then on this other end, I'm going to open up another jump ring, and I'm going to put an end to hook onto, just because it's much easier to hook onto. And I'm going to close that back up again. Voila. Now I have a really nice, gorgeous, lightweight um, piece. So just to finish up, this is actually one whole package, as I mentioned. Um, I wanted to attach these pieces here. So uh, for a finishing touch, you can add lusters to your bezels. These are the lusters here. I'm going to show you um, this. I'm, of course, always addicted to the blues. And I'm going to show you with a paintbrush on how I'll be able to get these applied. So this actually, you want to shake these. You can hear there's um, there's a little metal piece in here that's going to mix up your, your product for you in both of these. And this is the black. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm actually just going to put a little dot of color right here. This is the darker color. Um, these are these are really made to hold on to metal beautifully. Once you get these onto metal, um, there is you, you, really it's going to be very difficult to get these removed. So I'm going to take this piece here and my paintbrush. I'm going to put rub in a little bit of black. The nice thing about these Milan bezels that I have here is that you really can do a lot with the patterns, you know, with the excess patterns on here with what you have going on. So I'm going to actually just put a patina in, rub a little bit off in different areas, rub a little bit back on again, and you're going to get, um, you know, darkened some of the deep blues in here. I can get up on the edges of this too. So this is if I want to dirty it up a little bit. Yeah. I always love, because remember again, it's like the shine and then the, the relic look is just fabulous. Okay, so this was a piece that I showed you guys how to make in another video. I'm going to take, I always like having a little bit of length, so I'm going to take a nice long piece just to give me extension, and um, I'm going to fold it over. This is the same technique, just it's a redundancy. I'm just showing you again and again. I'm just wrapping to give it a nice kind of fun, bulky look. And then I'm going to take the top, and you're going to see 
uh, you really need to use jump rings again when you're using um, these Milan bezels. It's a nice tight fit. It's a gorgeous look. We don't really want the loops to show up, um, you know, so much, but then you're, the wires, you're going to have to use a jump ring on the end before you put the wires in. So I'm going to make my loop again. I'm going to come through the side of this jump ring. Oops. Now I'm getting all fumbly. And I'm going to bring this around and I'm just going to finish wrapping. Again, the same redundant. The nice thing is you guys get to see this technique over and over and over again. I always like long, so you can see how beautiful. And with the different hinges on here, you're just going to get a lot of movement. This is creating movement. These two links together here, they, they really look nice and create movement. So wait till you see how this, this is all going to fit together. The last thing I want to do is grab another jump ring and I'm going to slip it right through the top. Look at how gorgeous the color in here looks when you use the lusters on the side. Oh my gosh, really kind of makes it pop with the dark and, and the blue. And then I'm just going to close this up. Make sure you close it good onto the top of your piece. And voila. Really, this is, this is going to look so nice on. It has a lot of movement. Um, it looks beautiful. It's not bulky. And it's a different way rather than just using leather all the time. So um, that's I'm done with this one. I hope you guys um, like some of the pieces here. Get on there. Check it out. Click the links below to learn more about these products.